It's Shari here and today we're going to be making this card with some buttons behind these balloon die cuts. So I'm going to be using the Let's Polka in the Meadow 6x6 pad, this very small polka dot. And I'm going to be using some 28 Lilac Lane buttons in the yellow and the lilac color. I think it's Hello Sunshine and Lilac Lane. So first thing I'm going to do is use the stitch rectangle here to cut out my pattern paper. And this is the large, um, small stitch rectangle, I believe. So it's slightly smaller than a A2 size card. So my card's going to have a little white border on it. Now I'm going to use the heart and the star-shaped balloons dies and hold those in place with some post-it note tape. And then I'm just going to run that through my die cut machine as well and cut out and use the negative space. So I'm gonna end up with some die cuts that I can use on a project later. The next thing I wanna do is I have a piece of white cardstock that's cut to an A2 size card. So you can see how it's gonna look on a card base. And what I wanna do is I wanna trace these shapes on there lightly with a pencil so that I know where my buttons need to go and I make sure that I get the whole shape covered. And these are going to really get covered up with buttons and glue. So just keep it light and you won't see that pencil line at all. Now these are the sunshine buttons. And what I like about these is it's not just buttons of all different sizes. There's also sequins and there's little seed beads in there. A lot of those fall down to the bottom. So you're gonna see here, there's the seed beads. I'm going to pour out a lot into this dish so that I can see all the different sizes and pick and choose the things that I want to use. Now I went ahead and poured out the purple ones as well. And then I'm gonna be using two glues when I do this. I'm going to use this tacky glue. Uh, I like that it is tacky and it'll hold the buttons and they don't slide around. And then I'm gonna use my multi, medium, and matte with the very fine tip for the details at the end. You'll see I'll fill in between the buttons with the tiny beads. So I'm just gonna trace my star shape here with my glue and fill it in, not you know completely, but enough. And then I'm gonna speed up the process here. So you can see you just take your time, have fun, filling in with the buttons and there's sequins in there, there's little pearls in there, and just have a variety of shades and styles and sizes. And just make sure that you fill in that whole star shape so that there's no white left behind. You want it to go past the shape because it's gonna be masked by the pattern paper. So it's okay to go outside the lines you definitely want to make sure you go past the lines. Now you can see I'm going in with the small tip of the matte medium and now I'm grabbing the little seed beads. It's kind of hard to see. I'm just kind of shoving them in those little holes and filling in all the white space with embellishments. That little tip is really good for getting that glue in those little spaces. And then here I've done the same thing with the purple. I traced the purple heart with a tacky glue, laid out buttons, and now I'm just filling in between the buttons with the multi-matte medium and some sequins, or excuse me, some beads. I'm gonna lay this clear block on it and give it some time to dry. And while I do that, I'm gonna make the strings in my balloons. So I'm using the Celebration Scripty sayings, but I'm gonna use the sentiment that is all the way to one side so that I have a long piece of that kind of swirly line. That's going to be the strings of my balloons. So I placed that on a block and I'm just going to be using some black ink here. I'm going to place a piece of cardstock underneath so I don't get my work surface dirty. And I'm just going to ink up just the curly part. I don't need the sentiment. You'll see I'm going to try to line it up with my grid mat so that I make sure my string comes down straight from the balloon to the bottom of my card. 
And then I'm just going to ink up the stamp again and repeat the same thing with the star balloon. You could if you wanted to vary the kind of swoops and swirls. I'm trying to make sure I don't line them up exactly beside each other so you can't tell they're exactly the same. But you could grab another stamp from this set and get a different um, swirly line. Now I've cut out a sentiment banner from some pink cardstock with one of the sentiment banner dies and I'm going to use the happy birthday sentiment from so much to say. I'm just lining it up on my grid mat so I can pick it up with my block and make sure that it is straight with the grid on my block. And I'm going to stamp that right on that sentiment banner. This is the wider of the sentiment banners. This happy birthday fits in there perfectly. I'm going to line it up on my grid mat so that I make sure things are straight. And then I'm just going to center it up in there. You could also add um, some little images to the sides because there's some space between the sentiment and the end of the banner, but I just decided to keep it simple. Now I actually trimmed down that piece of cardstock with all the buttons on it so that it is smaller than my patterned piece of paper that's going to go on top. And now I'm just going to glue that piece down to the card base. Now the reason I did this instead of gluing the buttons directly to the card base is because that glue kind of makes it warp a little bit. And I wanted my card base to stay nice and flat. So I'm going to let the warping happen on this piece of cardstock that I'm going to hide. And it's not you, no one would know the difference. It also makes it a little more sturdy because you have two pieces of cardstock. I'm going to put the block back on it again and set it aside and let it dry so it stays flat. And then while that's drying, I'm going to put some foam adhesive on my front panel. So I want to make sure that the foam adhesive goes beside the buttons and I don't overlap at all. So it's pretty close on the sides here. So what I'm going to do is cut this piece of foam tape down the center so that I have two thin pieces and this will go down my sides of my front panel. I can put some fatter pieces in other places because I know that it'll be out of the way of the buttons and that will help hold the panel up. I'm using the foam because those buttons have that thickness and this way the panel will stay more flat because it's held up off those buttons. I've pulled all the liner paper off and I'm just going to line it up and stick it down to where it's centered on that card base. I thought about using some foam tape for my sentiment banner too, which you could do, but this card's pretty thick as it is, so I just decided to use just some adhesive, flat adhesive runner, and just put that sentiment banner across the bottom. Now to finish it off, I'm using some pink stickles just to kind of finish the little party I've got going on here. They look like confetti. And I'm just adding those around like the confetti's been thrown up in the air and just falling down. And there is the finished card. I love the texture and the look of the buttons as the balloons. And here's a close up of the card. Thanks for watching. Have an amazing day. Bye.